All right, we've talked about ordered pairs and how that you can take an ordered pair and put them on a coordinate plane. This is a coordinate plane, and we've talked about that before. An ordered pair is a number of rational, excuse me, not a number of rational numbers, but a pair, two, of rational numbers that are enclosed inside parentheses that you would use to put on this coordinate plane. And remember, rational numbers are integers, they are decimals, they are fractions, and they can be positive or negative, and you can put them on a coordinate plane. Now, what we're going to talk about today is those ordered pairs and their relationships. And first, we got to talk about this coordinate plane because we got to go a little bit more in detail with this coordinate plane. Now, when I say ordered pair relationships, I'm not talking about, oh, oh my gosh, so-and-so is dating, whatever. Negative two and one are dating, and it is so serious. Not that type of relationships. All right, so don't think about that. That's just weird. Numbers dating, oh no, okay. Um, so what we're gonna talk about is this coordinate plane. And we are going to break it up into four pieces. As you can see, there are four sections. There are names for those, okay? Um, and those are called quadrants. Now, what is a quadrant? You're like, oh my gosh, that's a big word. I don't know what that means. Quadrant, okay? Quad means four, okay? If you have a quadrant, that means it's something that's split up into four pieces, just like this, okay? And as you can see here, there are four quadrants. Ah, see how that works? Yeah. So, let's talk about what the names of these are, okay? This... is quadrant one. Now, you're going to see these numbered with Roman numerals. Ah, the Romans. So we're actually putting some social studies in with this. Hey, look at that. All right. So Roman numerals. And luckily, you only have to remember four of them, and only one of them is tricky. OK? All right. That is quadrant two. Now remember, the quadrants are a little goofy. Normally you'd think, okay, I read my numbers from left to right. The quadrants are a little different. The quadrant, first quadrant, is over here to the right, which is kind of the opposite of what you normally would think it would be. So remember that. Quadrant two is here. This is quadrant three. And finally, this is quadrant four. And you're like, whoa, what the, well, hold on. What's that? That's a Roman numeral for four, I, V. OK? All of the other Roman numerals are easy. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. and then the quadrant four. That one's the only one that's kind of tricky. So even if you know that the one for quadrant four is tricky, that's the only one we knew. The rest of them were easy. Okay? All right. So there's quadrants. And sometimes they're going to ask you about where an ordered pair, what quadrant it would be in. Okay? All right. So let's talk about that. Now, as we look at these coordinate planes, we know that anything up is going to be positive. Anything below is going to be negative. Anything to the right is positive and anything to the left is negative. So, depending on which quadrant it is, we can tell what the signs for each one is going to be. Because remember, we start when we have a, an ordered pair. For example, negative one, positive two, our ordered pair. Now, what we learned as far as taking these ordered pairs and putting them in a coordinate plane is this is for the x-axis, which is this, and this one tells us on the y-axis. Okay, And we always start at our origin. Now our origin is going to be, actually the origin is an ordered pair. It's an ordered pair of 0, 0, but it's right there in the middle. Okay. Now, knowing this, look at our quadrants. We know anything above is positive. 
okay, on the y-axis. Anything that is to the right is positive on the x-axis. Well, what we can look at is we can look at this and tell exactly what quadrant it will be in if we use some common sense without even having to go through the whole process of plotting this on this coordinate plane. Okay, so if I know that this is going to be on the x-axis, I know that since it's negative, it's going to be over here. So that tells me that this ordered pair, because of what I know about the x-coordinate, is going to be either in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3, because everything of the left on the x-axis is going to be negative. Since that's negative, it's going to be over here. Okay, so that takes away two of our possibilities. It cuts our chances of getting it right in half. Which are better odds, but we want 100%. So, then we look at the y-coordinate, and we see that it is a positive. And we know that if it's positive on a y-coordinate on this axis, then it's going to be above the origin. So it's going to be up here, okay? So it's going to be up here. Well, seeing that I know that because of this, I know it's either going to be up here, and then it's going to be up here, it only leaves one quadrant. So this would be in that quadrant. See? Pretty easy. Now, since we know that, everything that is going to have an ordered pair that the first number is a negative and the second number is a positive, we know it's always going to be in quadrant 2. Okay? How do we know that? Well, if it's over here, negative. If it's up here, positive, right? See that, how that works? Cool. Let's look at quadrant one. Uh, first we look at our x. Okay, this is positive over here, so we know that any ordered pair that starts with a positive is most likely going to either be on this side. So it could be quadrant one or quadrant four. All right, so we know that. So we can go ahead and put those there. All right. Now, if it's above in this area, it's going to be positive on the y. So that means that both of them are positive. Okay. So any ordered pair that have positive positive, the x coordinate is positive, the y coordinate is positive, it's going to be in quadrant 1 every time. Okay? Now, down here if we know it's on this side, it's positive on the x but if it is on the y, if it's negative, it's going to be down here. Okay, so hopefully that's straight. Hopefully you understand that. So let's go over it again, okay? If it's in quadrant one, that means your ordered pair, they're gonna both be positive. If it is in quadrant two, your X coordinate, your number, your first number that you would put on the X axis is going to be negative, and then the number that you would put on the Y axis would be positive. Okay, every time. Quadrant three, well, let's go through this and look. Okay, if it's on the X, well, it's over here, so it's got to be negative. And if it's below here on the Y, it's got to be negative. So for quadrant three, it's going to be negative, negative. Quadrant four. It's on this side of the origin on the x-axis, so it's got to be positive. But it is below the origin on the y-axis, which is negative. So your ordered pair would be first number positive, second negative. Okay? Hopefully that's not too confusing. So let's go over another example or so. How's that sound? So let's say we've got an ordered pair. And it is a positive 7, negative 1. What quadrant would it be in? So I'm going to look at my first number. It's a positive. Then my second number is a negative. So I'm going to look at my quadrants. I'm going to think, okay, looking at these quadrants, which one starts with the first number as a positive? Oh, it's over here because this is the x-axis number. So anything to the right of the origin is going to be positive. So that means that it narrows it down to these two quadrants, okay? Because they both start with positives, okay? Then I look at my y number, 
the number that I would plot on the y-axis, the one that goes up and down. It's a negative. Now we know on the y-axis, if it's a negative, it's going to be below the origin. Below, down. So I look and I think, oh, it's below negative quadrant 4. Roman numeral for 4. That's what I would put. Okay, let's do another one. All right, once again, I look at my ordered pair. And the first number, which is the x-coordinate, which goes on the x-axis, it's negative. And I know that on the x-axis, which goes horizontally, if it's negative, it's going to be left of the origin. It's going to be this way. So that means that I've narrowed it down to either quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Then I look at the second number, the number that would go on the y-axis, which would be the vertical line. And if it's negative, that means it's going to be below the origin. So first one is going to be over here. Second one, below here, leaves us one quadrant, quadrant three. OK? A couple more examples, then we'll be done. OK, look at my ordered pair. I look at my x-coordinate, the one that will be on the x-axis, it's positive. So I look up here and I think, okay, x-axis, that's the one that goes horizontal. If it's positive, it goes to the right. So I'm going to be on this side, quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. Okay? Look at my next one. Okay, what is my number that's going to be on the y-axis? Well, it's a positive. Well, on the vertical y-axis, if it's positive, it's above the origin which is up here, which means it's going to be quadrant 1. Okay? All right. And then last one. Okay. So I look here. I look at my x coordinate, the one that would go on the x axis, which goes vertically. And it's a negative. So that means that if it's a negative, that means I'm going to be go to the left of the origin, which is going to be on this side of the coordinate plane. So I've narrowed it down to either quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Then, of course, I look at my second number, and I see that it's a positive. And if it's a positive on the y-axis, that means it's above the origin. So that means it's going to be up here. This tells me it's on this side. This tells me it's up here, quadrant 2.